Greetings, Unsettled Souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. <clears throat> Before I forget, I want to say, uh, if you have not already done so, make sure you go to my last video. <clears throat> it's a two-part video, and part two of it is maybe some of the best work that I have ever, ever done. And I'm going to talk about this on The Media Speaks if I am on it Saturday. I believe that I'm going to be. I want to talk about how I think it's important for all of us, you watching this, uh, people that have your own show, people that talk to friends and neighbors, we need to do something that we're not doing. I was speaking the other day about how dreadful the United Nations was, and I realized something. We are supposedly awakening people, correct? Well, they're going to wake up, and they're going to say, well, what, why do you people and not like the UN? I, I just graduated high school. Five years ago, maybe they'll say, you know, going after the youth, the Ron Paul vote. The United Nations uh, are, are designed to keep peace in the world. Why do you crazy libertarians to a large degree not like the UN? We need to spell these things out when we talk about their detriment to people. We can't just talk about Fukushima because if they even know about it, they've been told it's okay. We need to remember that we are speaking to a growing number of people because thankfully our movement is in fact growing. Um, if you're wondering what's on my hand, uh, I, I'm going to do in-depth talking about this at the end of this video. And the reason is, the truth behind what happened to this finger is so painful and so gross that I think most of you would die. But for those of you that like a really good horror story that is true, make sure you stick around to the end of this video, which is of course brought to you by the Arcadia Grill, located on Court Avenue in downtown Canton, Ohio. Go there because the food is amazing. Alright friends, on to the news. Belcher, and I don't mean one that burps too loud, I mean the guy that plays for the Chiefs. Um, you know, we have a name for the Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs, only you substitute city with the word shitty. Yes, I said it, and you know why I said it? Because what the NFL is doing to us is absolute crap. That's what it is. I'm not going to fill this uh, post with vulgarities, but you get the point. Let me let you in on this, people. Here's what's going on. An idiot that played for the Kansas City Chiefs shot a person that he was with romantically. The media, including the NFL, and I'm not going to lie, um, I am a football fan. My best friend Dan, who is the bassist of the band Passing Time that I am proudly in, we wait for football season. We trash talk all the way through. Except for the Bengals, him and I do not like the same teams at all. New England is my team, by the way. Um, we don't like any of the same teams. I'm a football fan, and I am appalled and repulsed by what they're doing. It was actually Christelle who said that I should cover this, and I'd seen that other people had, and almost didn't. And now, you know what? She's right, and I'm going to talk about it for a moment. Everyone is saying that we need to get rid of guns. We need to get rid of guns, because guns are the problems. Guns are what led to all of this baloney. The truth is that if she had been armed, she might still have her life. Maybe if you're dating a psycho football player, and I don't mean that they all are, I mean that he was. If you're dating someone who owns a gun and who is clearly a problem, then maybe you should have a gun or maybe you just shouldn't be with them. But here's what I'm saying, people. If the people had been armed in the theater when the Batman killer went in, those people may still be alive because they would have defended themselves. The answer to these kinds of problems is more guns, not less. Um, the problem 
with the NFL in this particular shooting is the thug, ghetto, hood mentality. It would be the hood. I'm cool because I listen to hood. Let me tell you something. If it's hip hop, it's crap. And if you don't like it, I said it and I stand by it. Your music is garbage, crap, and totally talentless. It is put together from prefab loops, and all they do is swear and talk about booty and shoddy and booty and shoddy. Your music sucks. Your mentality sucks. And that's why you're out there shooting each other. And I said it, and I stand by it. Every single word. And for those of you that think that I'm being racist, just know that I'm talking about white idiots as well. I'm talking about Mexican idiots and any other idiot that gets into this thug mentality. The answer to thugs is to get our own guns and when these thugs come after us, to shoot them. Yes, I said it. Do I want anybody shot? No, I don't. But the answer to gun violence is more guns. An armed society is a polite society. And if the poor girl that this monster shot had had a gun, and if he had known that she had a gun, then he might have maybe not been so quick to do this. What do you think? Do you think if guns were illegal that the thugs are going to turn their guns in? Because if you do, you're an idiot. And that's, that's the high and low of it right there. The answer to these sorts of issues are more guns, not less. And I can't underscore that enough. In every single state that has allowed concealed carry, the, the crime rate has plummeted. So don't listen to this when these mindless people come at you. And I will say this to the NFL. There are people like me who do not live and die by your sport. And, you know, we don't have the NFL network. We're hoping that the fact that you try to rope more people in for money will actually hurt the sport. Because you are greedy, money-driven, and totally beyond any realm of moral compass. And I'm not saying that you have to be a moral person to play a football game. I really don't care if you go home at night and worship the goat lord. What I am saying is that the NFL brings people in based on talent, which is fine. But then there are people that tend to think that there's some morality tied into this and that they can preach to you about gun ownership. You're out of your minds if you let this happen. People listening to my voice, go and buy a gun. You are the answer to gun violence. You are the answer to you being a victim to a thug G hood. Ooh. All right, guys. Uh, no more vulgarities, I promise. I had to. That is, that is my message to the hip-hop culture. White and black because I don't see race. I love black music. It's called techno. All right, people, and jazz. Here we go. Fukushima has become a dreadful mess, an absolute dreadful mess, as all of you know. Again, I said I wasn't just going to gloss over things. If you do not know what Fukushima is, it is an accident that is the worst catastrophe in all of recorded history regarding accidents. Is that clear enough for you? I hope so. Well, when this mess happened, it distributed obviously thousands and thousands of tons of radioactive isotopes and particles and remnants all over the globe. Um, if you don't know, you should not live in Japan, Hawaii, Alaska, Oregon, Washington State or California. Do I mean LA? Yes, I do. Do I think that LA will be the thriving metropolis it is now in 25 or 30 years? No, it will be a ghost town by comparison because of the number of people who are going to develop cancer and heart disease and things related to this accident. The west coast of our country should not be lived in. The rest of the northern hemisphere is still being poisoned by this to some degree. 
Well, the reason I'm speaking about it now is I just came across some information on Miss Milky the Clown's channel. And if you don't know who that is, go and look up Fukushima Milky the Clown. She'll come right up. Um, she does some of the most in-depth reporting. Uh, or, uh, see, her reporting is different than mine. She's like a, a compilation. She compiles things uh, from many different sources. Um, one of those sources, NHK, said that Arnie Gunderson, who is a very uh, reputable uh, voice in uh, all things nuclear, said that the, uh, the rewashing, as it were, is going to happen for the next 300 years. 300 years! For those of you that don't know, rewashing is, let's say here you have uh, a nuclear power plant over here blows up and pieces everywhere. Nuclear, nuclear pieces everywhere. Well, now every time it rains, the wind carries it and drops some. Then it rains and the wind drops it and carries it. And these particles, these isotopes, don't break down. Some of them have a half-life of 240,000 years. This is important because people are going to say, well, Sam, who cares? Well, what are you going to do about it? There are two things that are important. First of all, you can start taking at least 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C per day. Um, you can start taking selenium. You can look into bentonite clay. You can look into many different things that can counter a lot of these bad effects. Will many people still die of cancer that do all of these things? Yes. Will this limit your chances and better the quality of health that you have without a shadow of a doubt? For instance, um, it can uh, nuclear elements can cause heart disease, it can cause asthmatic symptoms, and it can cause cancer. Maybe if you take all these things, maybe you'll live a nice long life and the heart attack will get you from the nuclear elements. But you won't be sick your whole life with cancer. You won't be sick your whole life unable to breathe! There are things you can do to combat that. That is one reason, because you, even though you can't escape it, you, you can uh, definitely increase your quality of life by doing these things and other things, I'm sure. Uh, calcium magnesium uh, prevents a lot of the thyroid issues and bone issues uh, associated with many of these nuclear remnants. And the other thing you can do is insist that all nuclear power plants and nuclear power stations are shut down. Man is not warming the planet. There is no man-made global warming. Oil and gas are the most practical things that we currently have. And I do believe that all this greeny weeny BS is finally going to come up with something of some value. Solar is looking promising. Wind is questionable. Right now, it is nuclear, oil, and gas, whether you like it or not. And people, we are not warming the planet. And the, the, I mean, I'm not, obviously, oil and gas, and they create carcinogens in the air that give you lung cancer. But it is not nearly, not even infinitesimally measurable compared to the kind of disaster that happens when a nuclear power plant goes red. And also remember that nuclear power stations have accidents all over the place on a regular basis, and you can look these up, and if you don't look them up, you'll never find them because they're not reported. They're very well hidden, barely documented at all, if ever. Um, that's, that's it, people. That's it right there. The answer to more guns the answer to gun violence is more guns, and the answer to health is shutting down nuclear power plants. Uh, maybe not total health, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Use the thinking part of your brain. You are listening to the correct views, and I thank you for doing so. Now, if you have a squeamish stomach, good night, God bless, and thank you for listening to the correct views. Please donate if you can, because I'm trying to buy a laptop, as you can see. I do not have one on this table, because mine died, and it needs to be a very nice one to handle this graphic. So please donate if you can. All right, for those of you that want to know about what happened to my finger, weak stomach, five, four, three, two, one, that should have left. I had an aquarium break. A speaker fell from a, a, an entertainment center that I have, and it was my fault, and it fell into the aquarium. And then I cut my finger 
so badly. And I know there's a point to this. There's a reason that I'm still talking. I'll get to it. This, this meat right here, the main meat of your finger. In your head, take a peach. Now take a spoon and dig it into the peach. And right before the meat cuts off to eat a bite, stop. So that when you hang the peach upside down, that little bit of meat flaps. That was the meat of this finger after the aquarium. I drove to the hospital with my hand wrapped in a uh, pillowcase. Get into the ER. They take me back. I have to wait like, I don't know, it felt like a hundred years for to get any uh, pain medicine. And I ask for TAC, which I believe is called uh, a top Topically applied cocaine, and uh, again, I, I, I'm not a uh, I'm not a saint, but I, I don't use coke. Do not like coke. Uh, no coke in me. Hate it. But I wanted it because it's topical, and I've seen my brother. He got stitches in his head when he was a child. He fell out of a, a car when it was parked, trying to get out. Tripped over the seatbelt, and they put this on his head and it numbed it. Well, I play keyboards. It's one of the most important things in my life. And I said that I wanted to keep the feeling in my finger, and he said that he couldn't use any kind of topical. Novocaine-like medicine, topically, because it can deaden the nerves on contact, perhaps for good. And I'm already looking at possible nerve damage here. The only way they could ensure that the nerves would be in the best working condition is to open that flap of meat, take a syringe with Novocaine, and inject it four or five times, directly squish into the meat that... Believe it or not, you can hear. Like you can't hear out here. You can hear it in your head. It is terrible. The point of this story, besides saying if any of you actually made it through, is to talk about dedication. My band isn't huge. It's Passing Time, look it up online, Passing Time uh, Alexandrian Solution is our new EP. Probably only 50 people at the show, 60 people. But you know what? Just because we live in a country where dreams can't come, really come true anymore, and by that I mean you can't really give your record label to anybody because record labels don't take anything in unless it's solicited. And it's all created. Like, they, they bring these people in. Uh, there's no music or art left in this country in the mainstream anymore. So you do it for the love of it. Um, but for those of you listening to this, if you have dreams, give up on them. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. This is not going to happen. Uh, if you've always wanted to be a doctor, you might get to be an orderly. There's not enough money for you to be a doctor. If you've always wanted to be a writer, um, you might get to uh, work at the local newspaper. Uh, they'll print your articles once a week for $25. There's no writers out there anymore because you don't can't afford an agent to actually have your stuff even read. My point is you do things because you love it because this country is never going to be a place where dreams like that can really come true anymore. Dedication then means something. Your art means something. I took this hand and I played the show less than three and a half hours after they stitched the meat back on. They don't know if the meat's going to stay on this finger or if it's going to get, like he said, like a, a shriveled up uh, potato chip, the doctor said, and it could fall off. I played the show. Now granted, a lot of my majors and minors became fifths because I couldn't use the finger, but my point is dedication. Dedication to what you believe in. Dedication to what you do. You don't see much of that anymore. And that is why art in this country is the worst of any civilized society in the last 15 years. We have hip-hop and pop that have taken over what used to be music, and we have no music on mainstream radio. Everything good that is going on is going on in the underground, or it's not happening. Um, everything else, like the Black Eyed Peas. So, whether you do videos like I do here, whether you're in a band, whatever you do, do it with everything that you have. Because there aren't many of us that actually know what dedication is. And if you are one of those people, then contact me. 
What can we do to further things that we believe in, whether it's music or the politics on this show? What can we do better to reach more people? Dedication. You are listening to The Correct Views. Thank you for doing so. Please donate if you can. Good night, God bless, and remember, adopt a family. Look this up, adopt a family. Wonderful charity.